Hey, okay, this is Mr. Farnsworth. Um, so, we are going to go to Illustrator. So we're going to go up here to Adobe Creative Cloud. And we're going to go to All Apps if it's not there already. And there's our Illustrator. Hello, Illustrator. Open. Okay, it's opening. So let's see what happens now. Um, so for this lesson, we're going to be using the shape tool and the pathfinder to make some really cool shapes that can be laser cut. This is one way to develop um, jewelry to be laser cut. So you'll get this screen and you can just go to create new and over here on the right I like to do, let's just do 24 um, by 24 because I don't know I'm just gonna I might make a few different things on this and give you some space if it's not already on inches change it to inches and I like uh, portrait view if these numbers are different at all but click create okay it's creating okay so um, first thing you need to do is go to your essentials up here if it doesn't say essentials it might say something else but go to essentials um, if you don't see this bar right here go to window and click on control and then you'll see that bar up there one other thing you're going to need to do to set up for this lesson is you're going to go to window and you're going to go down to pathfinder okay if it's already checked that means it's somewhere over here um, and you can drag it out like this if you want um, you can drag all these things out for instance um, but i'm going to just put that back anyway okay so there's your pathfinder we'll talk about that more in a minute and so this is your artboard, and what we're going to do is right now I'd like you to change your fill. Um, so I'm going to go to, first of all, just a quick reminder, this black arrow here is a selection tool. The white arrow here, if it's not there, just click and stay down, and then go to direct selection tool that you're going to be using these two arrows a lot you're going to keep coming back to these two so those are really important to just get familiar with okay so we're going to be using this shape tool here if you don't see the rectangle there just click and hold down and you'll see the other shapes and or you can choose the rectangle or whatever we'll start with the rectangle so i'm going to click rectangle and over here on the right now i see i have a fill and I have a stroke. I don't want to have borders for these, so I'm just going to click on stroke. I'm going to go to this cross out here, the red cross out, which means no stroke. And then the fill, I'm just going to choose something. Um, I'll choose this blue. Okay, there we go. And you can always come back to those. They are also, by the way, on the left hand side over here. There's the fill. If I double click on it, I can choose a different color. Um, I can also go to color swatch. Nah, we won't do that. Forget that. You did not see that. Um, anyway, so, and the, the uh, stroke is down here. So if you click on that, you can make changes to that too. Okay? Anyway, um, so we're going to now make a rectangle. There's my rectangle. Okay? Now, the idea with this is we want to make some shapes that might look like something or an original shape. And so I'm going to just, I'm drawing this rectangle and I'm going to go back to my black arrow. And with that black arrow, I can do certain things. Like I can move this around. Um, I can change the kind of the rectangularness of it. It'll still be a rectangle, but I can give it different sizes and these nice little uh, corner areas here I can change too so I can go like oh let's just go like that 
and then it gets all roundy. Or I can click on that. Uh, let's just do an undo, Command Z, get back to there. I can actually click on one of those. Let's see, can I still click on just one of those? Yes, if I just click on one of them, then I can round out one of them like that. Okay, if I want to do more, I click more. So I'm going to make this shape, oops, okay, I missed that. I'm going to make it a little, ah, come on, there we go. Make it a little thicker, like that. And I'm going to round this one just a little bit there. Oh, it's rounding all of them. Stop doing that. I have to click it a couple times, and then it will only get that one. Okay, let's see. Ah, that's kind of nice. Okay. So, um, now I'm going to bring out another shape and overlap it on this one. Every time you bring out a new shape, it's going to go on top of the other shape or shapes. So I'm going to bring out, let's start with the star. Um, I just click and drag and you start making your star. Um, now, remember you have to keep going back to the arrows. Go back to my direct select, or this is actually my, just my selection tool. Um, and I'm making sort of something that sort of looks like a head of some kind. I don't know. I'll click on it. And that's go to the corner and you can rotate it. Okay, nice, and let's see, all right, that looks pretty good. I will actually want to go to the white arrow now, it'll give me more options. So with the white arrow, I can like do this sort of thing and get some roundiness there. I do not like that, Command Z, or I can go to this side and get some roundiness over, oops, I missed it, wrong one, Command Z, I can go to this one. Ah, it's not doing what I want. Let's try this. Uh, no, it's doing everything. All right, forget it. So, but with the white tool, what you can do is you can click on, say, one of these anchors, and you can go like that. So you can start changing the shape more of your whatever you have. Okay. Ooh, it's sort of, sort of looking like a mouth there. Okay, I'll keep going with that theme. What the heck? Uh, we'll go like that. And let's see, we'll droop that down a little bit. Okay, interesting, interesting. Maybe I'll bring this down, whoops. You have to be careful to click right on the anchor, like that. We're having trouble. And I'm gonna bring this one over a little bit more like that. Ugh, that looks awful, Command Z. Okay, anyway. I have that, and so what I can do now is I can select both of these with the black arrow, drag a rectangle around them, and go away color. You can see my pathfinder. So there's your pathfinder. Now, if I want to unite them, it's just these four buttons here that we're going to use. That's it. So I'm going to click on that. Now it's united. It's just one shape. There's not the star and this shape anymore. Okay, I'm gonna undo that. Okay, here's what happens if you minus the front. Okay, it took away whatever was in front, and if that was overlapping, it took that away too. Okay, Command Z. Now we're gonna intersect. We're only taking the intersection of those two shapes and keeping that. Not very interesting here. Let's try this where we only get rid of the intersection. That's a little more interesting, kind of like that. Okay, but the one I really like is the Unite. So we're gonna do that. Okay, now, basically that's all you do. You just keep adding shapes. I've got a different shape here. Uh, let's make a little eye, so I'll go to the Ellipse tool, and I'm gonna give it a different color so we can see it uh, over the blue. Whoops, I'm gonna do it over here. There we go. We'll just make a red. Ah, not what I wanted. Don't do that. Okay, I have to select. Uh, Command Z again. So I have to select the object. And maybe I have to draw it first. I don't know. I did that. It should change now. Okay. No, I guess not. Uh, learn something new every day. Anyway, 
I'm going to make, I'm just going to draw something here. That's blue. I'm going to turn it red. Okay. And now we can bring it up here. Oh, I've got to go back to my black arrow. And we're going to give it an eye. Okay, eye's a little too big, so we can move it around and do stuff. Okay, still too big. Uh, let's try that. Yeah, not bad. Okay. So, um, the laser cutter won't be able to do well with this. So what we have to do is we have to go to the black arrow, select everything, and I want to minus that. So I'm going to minus the front, and much better. Laser cutter can do that. We can cut that out now. All right, so basically you just kind of keep adding stuff, changing stuff. You can still click on this, for instance, and go to the white arrow, and you can move these you know, anchors around here. Whoops, click it again. It's easy to miss those. Um, you can also move the path itself around, just like whatever's there. Just move that around. Um, and you have these cool little handles here too you can move around and see what happens. Um, and get weird little shapes like that. So let's see, I'll bring this handle over here. What happens? Oh, cool. Okay, so you can still do a lot of stuff with it, especially with that white arrow. Um, and let's say, oh, I want to bring this. Whoops, missed it again. Click, bring that anchor way out. Very cool. All right. So have fun. Just, you know, try different things. Um, you can, one cool thing you can do with the polygon tool, for instance, is um, if you just click, it gives you how many sides, and you can just choose a bunch of sides and say, oh, I want 10 sides. And there it is. Go back to your selection tool, make it bigger, see what it is. Okay, nice. And I've got a nice cool thing here, and I don't know what it is, but it's a 10-sided polygon, and I'm going to add it. What the heck? And this time, I'm actually going to take a bite out of that. What I'm going to see what happens if I do that. So I'm going to select it all, and I'm going to take that out of there. So I'm going to go to the minus front. Oh, wow. Okay, this is getting pretty cool here. I'm going to have to stop so you don't steal any of my ideas. So this is how you do it, folks. And uh, have fun at it. Um, go to save. And cool new feature, if you click save, uh, you have this thing, save to cloud documents, and it saves it on the cloud. I'm going to call this, um, hmm, what does it look like to you all? Um, I don't know, I'm going to call it star chicken. Okay, there we go. And save, and there we go. You can start a new one if you want new file or just you know put some other ones here I can even shrink this let's shrink it way up there and start a new one to put over here okay all right see you later